Hey, Gamer Dad here. Um, <clears throat> so I got my Elgato Stream Deck today, and I was very stoked. I mean, it's beautiful. I did a little video unboxing video earlier. It it's consumer product wise, it's nice, and I've been using the buttons, and the buttons are fantastic. They feel really good. Um, and this is the software that you use to connect with it. I preloaded it before I went. It was a little confusing at start at the start, um, but the most important button to remember when you first get it is this little thing right here, the welcome button. So if I push the welcome button. Ta-da! It brings up the welcome to Elgato Stream Decky button thing. And there's a little video here, and it gives you like, it shows you like a really quick rundown because I was a little confused about how to use it because like most guys, I don't read manuals and there isn't one. And then uh, after this video is over, it's going to say, hey, go to our YouTube channel and check out some other cool stuff. Don't, okay? The other cool stuff is right below it. Just just scroll down. And this is the first one I play with is playing with folders. So let's just bring everything back up here. There's my Stream Deck. Okay, so... Um, what I was really concerned with, I'm just going to go home here. This is my default view. I'm hoping it's my default view. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of this one. I'm just going to delete a button I don't want. And what I was really concerned about is what could I set up in an hour? So this is what I did in an hour. So you have 15 buttons that you can configure, or you can change the buttons into a folder, and that folder will basically hold a bunch of other buttons. So I made this one, the this right here. This is my OBS for streaming click over and that's what I did basically an hour. So what did I do? I configured all of my OBS scenes. So I got start, chat, be right back, uh, live streaming. Uh, if I go to Windows and we open up a URL and look up stuff, whatever. This one's kind of cool. You can click it and it will have a pre-configured um, chat message and it'll go right into your chat. And uh, I've got my switching server face. I'll show you all these things. I've also got this one here, which I like, which is my NVIDIA uh, quick capture. So if I push it, boy, there you go save the last one minute right and then down over here i've got record which is also hooked to my nvidia card and if i like oh there's some interesting exciting stuff about to happen in day z i hit record recording has started and recording has stopped now for me to do that before i had a whole series of control buttons for the scenes and a whole bunch of alt buttons for nvidia and i had to like hold my tongue right to make it happen well now it's just one button which is fantastic <clears throat> this one i was very curious about what I did is I hooked it up, and you can open up a file and run it, and this is the file I chose. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Now, what I was kind of hoping that that would play in the background, but it did not. Um, what happens is, like, I put Player Unknown's Battleground up, and I hit that, and the, the Windows player pushes to the front. Because the one thing I was hoping you could do is you can make a folder and then make folders inside of a folder. Uh, but I think what I'm going to have to do is sort of go here, OBS, and be able to go back and forth and say have media files here, maybe some GIFs here, these kind of things like that. It also give you an opportunity to make multiple, multiple OBS scenes that you can move seamlessly between instead of doing the whole controly, awesomey thing. So, um, and the other thing you should do, uh, did I tell you this already? I hope so. If I didn't, you can just connect to your Twitter and your Twitch. And that's pretty easy. You just click this button here and put in whatever your Twitter account name is and your password and authenticate it and you're good to go. Uh, and then the, here's the other part I like. You can save multiple layouts. So maybe you edit. So you got an edit layout. You've got a YouTube layout. you got a streaming layout. Uh, I'm probably going to use this. This part here will be my day-to-day -day stuff. I'll have the common URLs I go to and stuff, Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, and stuff like that. And then I'll have folders for doing stuff. Uh, in this case, the OBS one. So, but I just want to go back for a second. So, this is what I learned. Hang on, let's just delete this one. I'm going to redo it, okay? So, there we go. So, this stuff over here, and again, if you have the 64-bit version of OBS, it automatically hooks it up with it. Um, so, I just drag. It says drag, drag. That's what you do. You drag over. Ta-da! And it's a scene. So, I'm going to say start. And I'm going to poof. See, all of the pre-configured scenes I have are already there. So, we'll say stream start. But I don't like this icon. They have a key creator. Where is it? Dunk. There you go. They have this thing right here. So you can create all sorts of wonky stuff and use these ones, and that's good. Or you can do what I did. You can just start. Where is that? Uh, there you go. You just go to Google Images. Look up an image you want. So for this one, we're going to use this start button. I drag it. I drop it on there. Ta-da. I put a title on it. Start. I put caps because I have old eyes. Don't make it like really long and see what happens. It goes right off the screen. Make it something very simple so you can see it because really the picture is going to tell you what it is. And then uh, I don't have it in a collection or anything like that. And then you can, the text here, you can either put on the top, the middle, or the bottom. And that's it. And if I hit that button, off it goes. 
So let me show you OBS at work with this. Hang on, we'll click it over here. I'm gonna bring my OBS over, and hopefully I remember this time to go back to Windows at the end of it, because I was making the video earlier and I talked to myself for nine minutes. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the deck. So right now Windows mode, so let's go to start the stream. One shot, one finger, that's it. And I've got like, I'm using my mouse, I click over. Oh, the stream's ready to start. Hey, stream, how you doing? This What's been going on this week? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I gotta go upstairs and kill a spider. Hey, you're flying. Be right back. Oh, back to the game. There's my game going on. And I want to go to Windows. Hey, that's exciting. Or maybe I'm changing servers. That would be awesome. Maybe I want to do a big face cam. Uh, I've got a mute uh, mic button. That one kind of works sometimes, sometimes doesn't. And I showed the other one start and stop. And back to Windows again. Pretty seamless. And that's way better when you're streaming and playing a game than trying to hit control this, control that. I just sort of reach up and hit the button. And I can look down and see it. And all of these beautiful little icons are all being replicated on the stream deck, which is absolutely fantastic. I want to go back to my uh, home screen. There I am. I'm good to go. So that was me in an hour. The only thing I have noticed is sometimes these the pictures will change and then they'll change back. Um, like I said, I can't open multiple folders inside a folder, so I can't really drill down that way. But once you get used to dragging stuff over and playing with it, uh, it's pretty seamless. So there are some advanced features that I would like to learn, obviously, on how to get GIFs. And I think most of that's recreating multiple scenes, um, which would be pretty cool. So it makes me stoked to learn more about it, to get the full functionality of it. Um, and as I learn more, um, I'll, if you guys are interested, I'll do more YouTube videos on this. And I think this is going to really, really help a lot of people out. There are other products like this out, but they seem to be more complicated. Don't do the things. This is pretty easy. It's seamless and it's pretty. So I love it. So, so far, so good. Um, I'll, I'll make some more videos and we'll see how things go and I'll keep you informed. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time on Gabriel Dad TV. Outies. I just got to remember how to stop my stream. Oh yeah. See ya.